Hey, what's up? So is web development a good career to get into? Are you gonna be able to get hired and make a decent living for yourself? That's a decision that you have to make for yourself. So let's just agree that you take responsibility for your own life. All I can do is share with you my opinion, my perspective, which is built upon the past three years. I've been a freelancer for three years, so what I'm sharing with you on this video is everything that I've learned from uh, reading blog posts, listening to podcasts, and watching YouTube videos, and talking to other developers and whatnot. Three years ago, I thought to myself, how can I possibly compete with guys in India and the Philippines that can do web development for sometimes as little as $2 an hour? No disrespect to guys who live in those areas, but I just wanna address the concerns of those of us in the West because we do have to earn a lot more money on projects in order to have a decent living. So you may get started on sites like elance.com, it's now called upwork.com, and you quickly figure out that it's a race to the bottom. On these sites you can bid on projects, but what happens is you bid $1,000 and a guy somewhere else in the world, he bids $500 and then a guy bids $250. It's a race to the bottom and it's a real, depressing vibe, but that's not where your future clients are gonna come from, okay? You might get started there, but that's not where you're gonna end up because you're gonna be aiming higher than that. I actually started on elance.com. My first website was for $250. Nowadays, I'm involved in projects where the budget is $20,000. You get there via Simple things like, it, it's not rocket science, you gotta learn to sell yourself. You gotta network, you gotta do fantastic work, you've got to be passionate about it. I'm assuming that you'd be doing web development even if you won the lottery. I'm assuming you have that kind of passion that you can't think of anything else you'd rather do. And if you have that, then I think there's a good chance you're gonna be successful. If you take care of the fundamentals, you look after your health, you work on your emotional IQ, you're networking, you're marketing yourself, then you're gonna be successful at some point. Now, I'm gonna address Wix and Squarespace, but let me just briefly share with you my story. I'll probably elaborate on it further in other videos, but as I said, I got started on elance.com and it was a $250 website. I did a real good job, made sure I gave great customer service, always replied to emails as quickly as humanly possible within a couple of hours typically, and they told me about their friend because they trusted me because I did a good job. I did a site for their friend. It turned out that their friend's husband was a graphic designer. He wanted to get involved in making websites and so we teamed up together and the rest is history, as they say. But I got involved in a lot of great lucrative projects off the back of his talent as a graphic designer. That's why I often say, if you can team up with another talented graphic designer, if you're a developer, that is. So do a good job and people will recommend you. When I built that site, I didn't even understand how floats work, okay? CSS floats, a lot of you probably using Flexbox right now, but don't be waiting for the perfect moment. Don't be waiting until you've mastered HTML and CSS before getting involved. You're doing it for $250 for crying out loud. Let's address Wix and Squarespace. These platforms allow people that wouldn't have otherwise been able to afford to hire someone, they can now build their own website. When you actually look at what they actually come up with, it's not fantastic. They're really struggling in the design element. It's pretty appalling actually. As good as Wix and Squarespace are, you put it into the hands of someone who doesn't really know what's out there, they don't really stack up, okay? And that's the thing, they don't know what's out there. They're not looking at award websites every day like you and I are. But this is the thing to bear in mind. It's actually a good thing that people are empowered in this way. Someone who can't afford a developer can 
very cheaply, very affordably get their e-commerce website up. It's a good thing for society. Change is the only constant in life. Everything is constantly evolving and the tech industry is evolving. Look at it as a positive thing. Don't get all jaded and cynical. It's okay to be skeptical about the industry and where it's going, but you don't wanna focus on it to the point that you get cynical, okay? Those aren't your clients anyhow. So you're not worried about them. And hey, look, I've said it a few times, if you're really that concerned about the state of the market in terms of web development, then just go get a degree and focus on Java. This is how I approach it. I, I say to myself, right, okay, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I'm just gonna keep going for a few more months. I keep going for a few months. I look back, I think, wow, I've come so far. I'm getting paid more. I'm networking with more people. I'll do it another six months. Do it another six months. You look back, whoa, I've progressed so much. I've learned so much in that past year. I'm gonna keep going. You do it for another year. You do it for another three years and you think, whoa, man, I've got so many clients now and networking and I love what I do. Man, I wake up in the morning. I can't wait to learn PHP, do some iOS, some JavaScript and some marketing and I'm learning Git and I'm learning Ubuntu and VPSs and ah, it's so exciting, man. There's no end to it. You could learn development the rest of your life, you'll never get to the bottom of it because by that point we've got artificial intelligence, computers in your car in, <laughs> look, who knows where it's going? I'm gonna go for my dream. I'm gonna work on myself and I'm gonna give it my best shot. If it doesn't work out, look, I'm not gonna starve, okay? I can go to my fridge, there's food in there. I can eat rice, on porridge, I'm not afraid of having it rough. You know, one of the biggest blessings in life is to be the underdog, is to be the underdog and have a dream and go for it. There's a movie, a Van Damme movie, and Van Damme, he's done a lot of movies, I'm sure you know him. There's this one movie where he's incarcerated and he's thinking to himself, I'm gonna bust out of this joint. He starts looking at all of the resources he has the guy ends up doing deadlifts with the bathtub. Okay, the guy's there, like he's utilizing his resources. One of my most favorite quotes is from a rapper, KRS-One, and he famously said that hip hop is not about having more. It's about what you do with less. It's about what you do with what you've got. You utilize your resources, You get your head down, you work on process. Don't focus on the end goal so much. Focus on the process, step by step, execution every day. And when you look back, man, you'll be amazed of how far you can come. I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you got something from this video. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Hey guys, so I just thought I'd take a moment to tell you about Team Treehouse. It's a great place to go if you want to become a web developer or even a games developer. And they also cover design. So they cover everything and it's all in one place. This is how I got started in the beginning. And they really know how to break a topic down so that you can grasp it very quickly which is real handy in the beginning because there's a tendency to want to try a little bit of everything before you really decide upon what it is you wanna focus on. And when you do decide what you wanna focus on, they've got your back. With the help of Team Treehouse, I was able to submit my first app to the iOS app store. These tutorials are at a different level. These guys are paid very handsomely to go away for three or six months and really think through the best way to teach their particular technology. Organize collections of things. List and dictionary are also examples of... That's just to give you a little taster of the caliber of the presentation, but it's not just the presentation. Take the SAS course, for example. 
This is the guy who invented SAS. They wanted to put a sketch course out there. Who did they go and get to teach the course? Well, they only went and got one of the co-founders of Sketch. So there's basically three packages. There's the entry level $25 per month package, which is what I'm enrolled in. There's pro and there's tech degree. The forum has really helped me out. When I submit a question, typically I get an answer within a couple of hours. It's helped me on actual client projects as well, when I've been unsure as to what technology to use. I've left my affiliate link in the video description below. I'd really appreciate it. If you are gonna sign up, do so via that link in the video description. There's a free trial. You've nothing to lose by going over there and signing up. If you've got any questions, fire them my way. This is all from me. Take it easy. Peace.